Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today is the day where we talk about how to install uh, texture mods for texture replacer. In the last video, it's going to be linked down in the description below. I showed you guys how to install uh, three mods that would be very useful to you starting off as a new mod downloader. One of those mods was texture replacer. Uh, so if you've watched that video, which if you haven't, you should go watch that video and come back. Uh, but if you watch that video, you already have Texture Replacer downloaded and you are ready to download your first texture mod. The mod we're looking at today is US, uh, USA Products by Fioria. Um, you can find this over on Nexus Mods. Just make sure you search this up and you should be able to find it pretty easily. And uh, go ahead and click Manual to Download. Once you click Manual to Download, uh, you download this into your same designated folder from before for your mods and then you unzip it and you'll be left with your folder. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Once we get over here, this is my designated folder for all of my mods. I have already unzipped it and here we have Texture Replacer. Uh, not Texture Replacer, I'm sorry, uh, US Products. Texture Replacer has already been installed. So we're gonna open our US Products folder. We're gonna find USA and Texture Replacer. And here we have our objects, textures, objects, uh, product icons and product names. So these are the three folders we're gonna need. So we're gonna go back over to Bepinex. We're gonna go to plugins where we downloaded our texture replacer mod before. We're gonna go ahead and open that up. And as you can see also in here, you see textures, icons, and names. So we're gonna take the folders from the USA mod. We're going to drag them over into the texture replacer folder and we're going to replace the folders that are in here. And now that we've done that, these have been replaced. Uh, and if you open up these folders, you can actually see the US textures inside of here. So these are all the US textures. Uh, if you go to icons, you can see all the US icons. And if you go to names, you should be able to, well, you would have to click all these, but this is, these are all the brands and the names. So now it is properly installed. It is literally that easy. Just take your textures, icons, and names folder and drag them over into your texture replacer folder. It'll replace the other folders that are here. Mod is installed. It is literally that easy, like literally that easy. So now what we're going to do is now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and boot up supermarket simulator and we'll see if it works. So let's uh, boot Supermarket Simulator up. Okay. And I don't know if you guys saw that little prompt there, the little texture replacer prompt. I think that was loading the, uh, the mods or the textures just then. So let's go ahead and continue our game and we'll take a look around and see if it worked. All right, here we are. And there you go. We got actual US name brand products on the shelves. It was that easy, literally just drag and drop. Make sure you're dropping it in the same place and replacing the files that are there. And boom, you got it. It's pretty simple. Now for the skeptical out there who don't think it's that easy or for anyone who might be having any issues, uh, let's do this. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna quit out of our game. We've confirmed that it's working, but we're gonna go ahead and quit out of the game. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into our texture replacer folder that's in our plugins folder uh, through Bepinex. Here, we'll, we'll, we'll just go back to the root here. We're gonna go back to Bepinex. We're gonna plugins, our texture replacer folder right here. We're going to highlight all of these, right? We're gonna delete them. Oop, they're gone. We've deleted them all. They're completely gone. Now, those those mods that I just downloaded, the textures, icons, names, completely gone. We're gonna go ahead and boot the game back up now. What's gonna happen is when I boot up the game, the game is going to take it upon itself to repopulate those folders here, but this time they're gonna repopulate them with the game's internal files that already, you know, display what the textures and stuff are for the game. So we're going to, and I'm not gonna show you the game booting up so you guys can see this happen in real time. So I'm gonna disable the screen for the game to pop up when I boot it up and you'll see these folders populate here and these will be the original texture folders or whatever. So the game's booting up now, you can't see it, but it is. And then boom, you see these, these folders automatically pop up in here. So these are the original folders. Now I can show you the game. All right, here's the game. Let's boot it up. And as we head into here, as you can see, all these products are back to normal. These are all the normal products. You no longer see the US mods anymore. It is completely disabled because I deleted those folders. It's it's back to normal. It's like it never happened. All right, so we're gonna go again 
save and quit, completely exit out of the game. Game is gone. Now we're back on our screen here. As you can see, these folders are still here. These are all the original meshes, textures, icons, and names. US texture mod is still over here open. We're gonna go ahead and highlight these, drag this over again. It's going to replace all of the files that were there like we did before. Now they're all, they have all been replaced and we're gonna boot up the game again. Now, some people may think this is a little tedious or maybe I'm, I'm overdoing it or something like that. Trust me, I've been doing this for a little bit. This is necessary because I've, I get message after message of people like I did exactly what you did and it didn't work. And I'm just like, I don't I don't understand how that's even possible, but it is what it is. So I'm showing you guys several times that it's really just dragging and dropping and it's that easy. So now the game is booted up. We're going to go to continue. And now that we've gone to continue, we head in. There are the textures. It, it is literally as easy as that. Uh, if for whatever reason it is not working for you after you follow those steps and do exactly what I did, I don't know what's going on with your computer, but there seems to be something wrong. Either that or you're you're not actually doing what it is that I'm doing. Those are pretty much the only two options. Uh, if doing it the way that I just showed you doesn't work, the only other suggestion I can give you is maybe to download a mod manager and try to install it through a mod manager. But in my opinion, that's actually more complicated because uh, you have to deal with an entire separate program to, to install mods. And I just don't really like to deal with that. So um, this is it. The way that I showed you is the way to do it. I, I do not know what to tell you if it doesn't work for you. I mean, I just because I only know one way and that's that's the way. <laughs> so uh, here it is. It is installed and it's working. And as I said, this works with all the other texture mods pretty much in the entire Nexus mods, like whatever you want to download. It's all going to be the same way. Um, now, there are some slight caveats. So, for example, if you do have the US texture mod, but you download a texture mod that, say, for instance, has to do with, I don't know, the computer icons. So you download a mod and it makes your icons on your computer look different or something like that. Then um, in that case, what you would do here, let me close out the game. <clears throat> OK, so let's uh let's bring back up the nexus here and let's look up let's try to look up a mod that's different something something that changes uh changes images that aren't exactly the product so i don't know maybe like money there's a lot of texture mods in this game uh canadian money computer i'll find one maybe that changes like your computer screen or something the problem with finding some of these mods is a lot of these texture mods are older so you, you you'd have to find something that's been that's been uploaded recently so this one right here might not work because it says this was originally uploaded in 2024 so let me see if i can find a visual mod in here that is reasonable Okay, we got refrigerator and freezers. This is like the main menu mod. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Okay, here's a here's a floor mod here. This was uh this was actually updated a month ago. Okay, l let's do this floor mod just to just to test it out and see. Actually, hold on. I saw the seal of approval over here. No door mod. Okay, that's a <laughs> every time I see Tim Beto's seal of approval, I'm like, oh wait, there's a there's a approved mod right there. Okay, let's not do that. All right, so all right, this one might be a good one. We got dark wood cash registers um, and uh, and self checkouts. So we're gonna go ahead and download this. We're gonna go slow download. We're going to choose our designated folder for our mods. Okay, now once we've done that, we're gonna head over to our designated folder for mods, which is here. The mod that I downloaded is called, where is it, Darkwood, okay. And now that we've opened this, we're gonna go ahead and unzip it, extract it directly in the same folder where it already is. That should give you a folder for it. Let's find it, where is it, Darkwood. Okay, so here we go. We got the Darkwood mod. It's for the cash registers. So where are these gonna go? So in a, in a situation like this, where they do not provide you with an objects, textures, or meshes, or icons, or any of that stuff folder, you are going to automatically assume that if you download a texture mod, that these textures are going to go in the texture folder. That is my automatic assumption. That is not always true, but it is a good rule of thumb. So what we're going to do for experimental purposes, is we're gonna take these texture files, we're gonna open object textures, and we're going to place them 
in this folder with the product textures. We're not gonna replace anything. We're just going to take these and drag them over into here. So once you've done that, you have confirmed that these are here and you can see them inside of your object textures folder. We're gonna go ahead and boot up the game and see if it worked. So let's boot up the game and we'll see if it actually worked. All right, go ahead and hit continue. And when we go in, what do we see? We see the hardwood self checkouts. Now I don't have any regular cash registers, but as you can see, this worked. We have a very nice and elegant looking hardwood uh, <laughs> self checkouts. They look so out of place in here, man, but there it is. And that's pretty much a rule of thumb with any texture. If you download a texture and they do not provide you with a object textures folder, then you just take those images, put it in the texture file and you'll be fine. And this goes for cash registers. This goes for shelves. This will go for refrigerators and freezers floors, ceilings, walls, whatever you download that is a direct texture. Uh, if you do not have the designated folder for it, that be meshes or textures or whatever, you're just gonna drag it into the texture folder and then it should be good to go. So a lot of this is pretty straightforward. It may take some trial and error um, to, to make sure that you get it right. You may see some files and stuff that you may not recognize, but at the end of the day, this is pretty much the standard. Um, and generally speaking, if I don't see folders that point me directly to where I need to go when I download them anyway, I usually just don't install them uh, because you never know. But that's that's about as straightforward as it gets. I, I've explained this in the best way I possibly can. And uh, I've shown you guys an actual live representation of what that looks like once it's done correctly. So there it is. Uh, that is your texture placer stuff. Uh, for good measure, I guess I could go ahead and do the floor to, um, you know, just to kind of drive the point home. And you know what? Maybe I will just to just to be thorough because, you know, you never know. So now we've closed the game out. We're going to bring back up our thing here. OK, so let's go back, go back again here. And now we're back in the uh, visuals category for mods, looking for some visual mods and uh, We'll do this one. We'll do this floor mod because it, you know, it looks kind of cool. I kind of like the way this looks. So let's go to manual. We'll go ahead and download it. Slow download. Uh, save it into our designated folder for our mods. OK, and once that's done, let's go here. We have our designated folder where all of our mods are saved and we downloaded a floor texture. Where is it? Discount helper, fast shelf, auto market, small product, scannable white and black ceramic floor here it is so let's go ahead and double click that we'll unzip this with our unzip uh whatever and then uh extract it directly into the folder where it already is same old song and dance guys it's the same thing every time so once you have your folder here you're going to go ahead and open that you have white and black ceramic floor hq and once again you are not provided with a object textures folder for this mod they do not provide you with one so you double click this and all you are left with are the textures. You need all of these for it to work. So go to object textures over here in your texture replacer folder, Bepinex plugins, texture replacer textures. And you're gonna take these, you're gonna drag them into your textures folder where all of your other textures are. And as you can see, these are now below all these textures here, add it to the rest of them. And now this is installed. So let's boot up the game for a final time. Like I said, guys, you could have left this video a long time ago if you kind of get the drift already. If you already understand how this works, this section of the video is literally for the people who message me constantly and tell me that they did exactly what I did and it didn't work. So I have to give like multiple examples to really drive the point home that, <laughs> that this is functioning properly and that, you know, it's not that it doesn't work. So here we go. We've done it and we walk into the store and here we are. The floor is now textured and it, I mean, it's, it's really that simple. I mean, that's about as far as I'm willing to go, man. I have done several examples at this point. We've changed the textures of our registers. We've changed the texture of our floor. We've changed the texture of our products. And uh, I've shown you guys how to do it in all of those scenarios. So uh, that is it. That's the texture replacer video. Uh, good luck to you guys. Hopefully you guys can figure it out. Like I said, it is pretty straightforward. 
and it does seal steam to work. Make sure that any texture uh, mods that you were looking at have been updated or uploaded in the past month or so. If it's been longer than a month, there's a pretty good chance that it might not be working unless it's gotten an update since then. Uh, so, you know, be careful with that because if you're trying to install a mod that's like super duper old and just doesn't work anymore, then at, at that point, the issue is that mod is just outdated and it doesn't work. Outside of that, I mean, it is what it is, guys. I showed you how to do it. That's how it's done. Good luck to you. Hopefully you can figure it out. Send me a message if you can't. We'll be live streaming tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you need any help or assistance trying to figure this whole thing out, uh, definitely come and give me a shout. And actually, I might start a little earlier than 9 p.m. EST just to make sure that we get plenty of time because we're starting a brand new modded playthrough on Supermarket Simulator, and I'm really excited to get into that. So, um, yep, yeah, that's it. Hopefully it was helpful to you guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.